On June 10, 1990, British Airways Flight 5390 was on its way from Birmingham, England to Malaga, Spain, when a catastrophe occurred on board the BAC 1-11-500 aircraft carrying about 118 passengers and several crew members. It was almost mealtime aboard the plane, which was cruising at about 17,300 feet over Didcot, Oxfordshire. Captain Timothy Lancaster and First Officer Alistair Atchison uh, relaxed, releasing their shoulder harnesses. Lancaster also loosened his lap belt. Shortly afterward, a blast occurred as the aircraft's left windshield cracked. Air pressure dropped sharply, and the pilot was sucked out of the cockpit as far as his waist. His head and torso exposed the extremes of the wind and the cold. The autopilot was off and the plane began to plummet. Worse yet, the cockpit's door had collapsed against the throttle controls, jamming them. As Atchison fought to control the plunging plane, flight attendant Nigel Ogden, having entered the cockpit, grabbed Lancaster's legs, assisted the flight attendant's uh, Assisted by flight attendants John Heward and Simon Rogers, who spelled him when Odkin became exhausted, they freed the pilot's legs from the flight controls that had trapped them. And Atchison safely landed the aircraft. Lancaster was injured, suffering frostbite, contusions, and fractures to his hands and arms. And Odkin injured an arm and dislocated his shoulder, but the passengers and the crew, including Lancaster, survived uh, survived this horrific ordeal. The cause of the near crash? The bolts that held the windshield in place were too small, both in diameter and in length.